Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Miss Talking Up. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, yuck mouth, shitty mouth, Ariana Curry. Um, I guess she thought she was doing something when she uh, was trying to shape Melody, talking about... Uh, she's, you know, being a mother to the five kids and I'm like, okay, that like really, I know that struck a nerve with some people cause it did, it really did strike a nerve with me. So my thing is, since she want to give out pertinent information, um, and you know, then we had Belinda, you know, posting bounce baby on her social media. Since they want to, you know, throw out subliminals and pertinent information and stuff like that, and they coming out with things after the fact, you know, after their custody case is all already over with, I feel as though, and I know Melody is probably um, gearing up to uh, have it amended in in an appeal. So since she is hopefully gearing up to have an appeal, I think we should help her with her um, list of subpoenas that need to go out. Uh, so make sure the people, the right people testify this time. See, Marie, um, I'm sorry, Martel, he had his list of people that he subpoenaed, but we want to make sure that Melody have the correct list of people subpoena to testify and get the right questions um, asked and answered. So the first person that needs to testify, and we don't even care who behalf they testifying on, because the questions is pertinent um, to both sides. Anyway, the first person to uh, testify is Yuck Mouth, Shitty Mouth, Ariane Curry. And the question we need to ask her is, how long have you been acting mother to the Eminem kids? Are you keeping the kids at your house, Martel's house? Are you staying overnight? Is he going out of town? Are you keeping the kids without him? What are the kids eating? What are you cooking the Eminem kids? You know, just pertinent information for both sides. Belinda. What is your relationship with Martel? Because you posted a picture of Boss Baby on your social media. So we want to know what um, what prompted you to post uh, Boss Baby, especially on Mother's Day. Did you think you were her mother? We need to know um, about this acreage of land, about the title, the transfer of title, who purchased it? Who name is it in today? We need to know about your babysitter um, watching the Eminem kids. Has he watched the kids at your house overnight? Um, when you and Martel step out in the babysitter, your babysitter is watching the kids. Is um, you and Martel taking overnight trips? So um, has this what events are y'all attending? How long are the events? And how long, uh, you know, have the your babysitter watched the Eminem kids without watching your kids? Next is the babysitter. Babysitter, how many times have you watched the Eminem kids? By themselves and... Um, w along with watching Belinda kids, have you watched them overnight? Are you watching them in Belinda's home? Where are you, you know, where, where this babysitting taking place? We need dates and time specifics. What events are they telling you that they're going to where you are needed 
to watch the Eminem kids. Next, Sheree. Sheree, tell us, were you being truthful when you stated that Martel comes to Atlanta to see you every single weekend? Is he bringing the kids with him, the Eminem kids with him? Are they staying overnight? Um, is he, uh, what functions are y'all going to when he's in Atlanta? We need dates, time, specifics. For Marlene, Mama Marlene, I know you stated that you only answer what is asked of you. So, need to know, first of all, how much do you drink? How, of, how often do you drink? Do you, um, do you, um, when you watch the Eminem kids, are you keeping the Eminem kids overnight? Do you like watching the Eminem kids? What is your role specifically when Martel have the Eminem kids? Is it to take them to school, pick them up from school? We need Pacifics. What is your role regarding the Eminem kids? We need to know about the business that Martel put in your name. We need the specifics of the business. What is the business? What, um, what is it for? We need the ins and outs. And we need to know what the business is, is worth. Marcus, we need to know what the secret is that you have on Martel. I know you don't want to tell or, you know, uh, you don't want to seem like you, you know, um, uh, making the Eminem kids feel uncomfortable or whatever, but because Martel and his hootlum friends, uh, baby mamas, they don't mind making Melody, uh, trying to shame Melody, making Melody feel uncomfortable. So let's just bring everything all out in the open at one time. Get it over with. What's the secret that um, you hold on Martel? The next person, Chris Fletcher. We need to know, have Martel house sold? Is it under contract? Um, is What's the estimated time for this house to be sold? Once this house is sold, are you under con or do you have a contract with Martel for him to purchase a new home or are you um over the um the building of the new house on that uh land that him and Belinda is intertwined with? We need to know it once this house sell is Martel just on his own looking for a new residence or has he contracted you to find him his next stable residence? Next, we need Paris, babe, uh, Paris daddy. Yep, we need Paris daddy because we need to know uh, why can't your why can't your child be in the presence of Martel? If that is true, why, um, what is your relationship co-parenting wise with yuck mouth, shitty mouth, Ariane? Do y'all get along? Do you feel as though that she's a good mom? Is she feeding your child? Um, do you have full custody of your child and she get she has visitation or what is the ins and out of Y'all co-parenting relationship. Next, we need the some of the tenants in Arian building. Yeah, we need some of the tenants to come forward and let us know. Have y'all seen Martel coming into um, Yuck Mouth, Shitty Mouth, Arian's building with four kids? His, these four kids right here, the Eminem kids, and leaving out with no kids coming behind him? Or are they all staying overnight? 
and getting up, leaving the next day, the next morning. Is he, um, have you witnessed the, him coming to Yuck Mouth apartment, picking up her and her kids and them taking off and not return for a couple of days? Have y'all witnessed her coming in from the grocery store with more than one bag where she have to, you know, make multiple trips um, to back and forth to the car to get the groceries out? Have y'all witnessed or smelled aromas of good food cooking coming from her apartment? Have you witnessed like, you know, breakfast food, bacon, eggs, sausages, you know, things that, um, you know, that, that you would have for breakfast. Have you um, witnessed different aromas, smell good aromas coming from her apartment for lunch or dinner? Um, you know, cornbread, chicken being fried, pork chops, fish, um, steak roast potatoes you know have you witnessed or smelled any type of good aromas for good food knowing you know uh where you can say oh my goodness they're eating good over there you know we we these are you know pertinent information and lastly we need to make sure we subpoena the school and the only reason why I say this, we want to pull the school records, pull the, the school um, in is because in the last um, court proceeding, it was stated that Melody is not an effective co-parent and she they tried to paint her out to be not a great mom, which we know is a lie, but you know, we're going we're gonna to run with what they say. And we're going to go ahead on and let the school testify. First question to the school we want to know is, whose name is on that check that y'all receive on a monthly basis for the school, for the kids' tuition? And um, is it late ever? Next, we want to know how many... Um, of her, uh, how many of the Eminem kids is Melody a classroom mom? How often do she come and fulfill her classroom mom duties? And how many trips has she gone on with the kids um, throughout the year? I know y'all have had numerous, but you know, trying to, you know, I know y'all have specific dates and um, you know, times. So I know go ahead on and, you know, get your records together. And so we can get facts. We only dealing with the facts and we're going to pose that same question to Martel. Has he sent a check, any check to the school for even lunches? We're going to ask um, how many classroom, how many of the kids' classes, the Eminem classes, is Martel a uh, classroom dad? How many trips have he attended? When it's, um, how many people outside of the mom or the dad have picked up, dropped off the kids at school? And I think with those people right there, we could get a clear and concise description of what's been going on and what should have been presented in the first court proceedings. And we could probably have the case. I mean, the, the case is self-explanatory. Martel don't need to be um, don't need to have 50-50 custody. Martel needs um, visit. He needs to start off with visitation. And 
it need, he need to be held to the same boundaries as Melody. You can't have all of these people around the Eminem kids. Or you can and you cannot have so many babysitters. And if your mom don't want to watch the kids, don't force her. And especially when you're dealing with your baby mama, yuck mouth, shitty mouth, Ariane Curry, the Eminem kids should be nowhere in sight. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think.